Hello, we have been taking up understanding quadrilaterals. In the first session, we learned about how the sum of interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 and we had taken few proofs on it. We will be now taking up questions based on that theorem. First question re sorry, reads as in a quadrilateral which is named as A, B, C, D, the angles A, B, C and D, they are in the ratio 1 is to 2 is to 3, 1, oh sorry, 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4. We have to find the measure of each angle of the said quadrilateral. See, as because it is given in the ratio, we will be taking let angle A, then we as it is 1, uh, 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to 4, we will be taking that as 1x. We will simply, I will simply write free hands. Angle B will be then 2x. Sorry. And angle C will similarly be 3x. And angle 4 will be 4x. Now we, all, we already know that the sum of the interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360. So like angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D that's 360. So we will simply substitute A with x, B with 2x, C with 3x and 4 with 4x and that's equal 360. Let us solve and find the value of x. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this gives us 10x is equal to 360. So x is equal to 360 by 10 that's 36 degrees. So now A we had taken as X. So angle A will be 1X that is 36. Angle B will be 2X. So it is 2 into 36 that is 72. Angle C is 3X. So it is 3 into 36 that is 108. And the rest that is angle D will be 4 into 36 and that's giving 144 degree. You can always check by adding this 36, 72, 108 and 144. That must surely give us 360 degrees. Let's move on with another question. I write it on the other screen here. Once I take up this one, we'll be taking questions on exterior angle property. One angle of a quadrilateral is 180 degrees. And the remaining three are equal. Find the three equal angles. Okay. We know that sum of all the angles, uh, interior angles of a quadrilateral is 360. Now, if one angle of a quadrilateral is 180 degrees, the other three how can it be 180 degrees? It's not possible. We can't have one angle 180. Sorry. 
it should be 108 108 it can't be 180 though now if one angle is 180 what will be the sum of rest of the angles sum of the rest of the angles so it will be 360 minus 108 and if I do that I'm getting 252 now this 252 is equally to be divided into the rest of the three so 252 divided by 3 will give us the answer for our question if I do this I am getting 84 degrees so each of the remaining angles of the given quadrilateral will be 84 degrees now let's discuss about the exterior angle property now if I am drawing here a quadrilateral and I am extending them and to show the exterior angles if you see I have extended them and got the exterior angle here the sum of the exterior angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees as well okay based on this we can continue with our more you know solution of the given questions let's so I'll move on or I can just type down the question here in the leftover space I can okay give me a minute yeah I'll write it down here now whatever be the number of sides in a quadrilateral the sum of the exterior angles will always remain 360 the question says how many sides does a regular polygon have if the measure of an exterior angle is 24 degrees now if one of the angles is 24 degrees no sorry yeah if one of the angle is 24 degrees now we know that sum of each suppose each angle is 24 suppose there are x number of such angles so this multi if you multiply with the number of angles and each angle being 24 we should be getting 360 because the sum of all the exterior angles is 360 so x that is the number of sides which we have assumed to be 360 divided by 24 and that I think is giving me 15 so this regular polygon has 15 sides which gives us each angle to be 24 let's move on with more questions on it I write it down here now this is an op, a, a kind of um, other way around question okay the interior angle of a regular polygon is 156 degrees find the number of sides of the polygon now we don't have to draw the figure every time now if we know that interior angle of a regular polygon is 156 at the same vertex what will be the exterior angle I write it here so each exterior angle will be oh sorry 180 minus 156 now 180 minus 156 I think will give us uh, 24 right again that means if each of the exterior angle is 24 we know that all the sum of all the angles to be 20, uh, 360 so again we go to the same process as we did the previous one so it will be 24 multiplied by x that giving us 360 
So if, as because um, we don't know the number of sides, we can't tell what is the, oh, I need to erase that part. It looks quite like 6. I'll just write it properly. This is 360. So x will again be like 360 by 24. We did the same in the previous question. So it will be, I think it will be then, oh, sorry, 15. I write it here. So the number of sides will be 15. We did the same but as because the interior angle is given we calculated the exterior angle first and then we got the we got to the number of sides of the polygon. I take up another one. I will write it somewhere here. The exterior angle of a regular polygon is one third of its interior angle. How many sides has the Oh, I made a spell mistake there. Has the polygon. Let there be n number of sides. Let as because it is asking us to find the uh, number of sides. Let I write it here. Let the number of sides. I'm using some short forms. Let the number of sides be x or n we are taking. So if there is n number of exterior, uh, sorry, sides, so each exterior angle will then be 360 divided by n. This is each exterior angle. So each interior angle will be angle will be 180 just just kindly ignore any spell mistake there 180 minus 360 by n right now it also informs us that exterior angle is equal to one third of the interior angle so we'll write it accordingly i use another color to differentiate so exterior angle is given as this. This is one third of the interior angle that we have written. Let us try to solve this one. So this becomes 360 by n and this is 60 minus it is 120 by n. Now if I carry as because I have don't have much space it's 360 by n is plus I'll carry this 120 here this is equal to 60. Now, if you solve this, uh, because I am getting, I can take a 10 common, that will reduce, um, or I write the same equation in another screen and then continue with solving it. My equation, if I remember correctly, was 360 by n minus 120 by n is, was equal to, I can just look back and is equal to 60. Let us now solve. I take n as the LCM of it. I am getting 360 minus sorry 120 that is giving me 60. <clears throat> 360 minus 120 is 240. So n will be like 240 by 60 is equal to n.
so n has got four sides let me just check if i did it correctly or not mm, yeah i did it right so it is n is four hope you followed we'll take up more quest such questions in the next few sessions thank you